What's up YouTube? Today we are going to be putting in a new CPU into our PC. Some things you're going to need are going to be your old Ryzen box. You need some thermal paste. Your new CPU. I'll be upgrading from a 37X to a 5900X Ryzen series. You need some isopropyl alcohol to get all that old thermal paste off your old CPU and some Q-tips to help you out with that. Okay, so first things first, what you're gonna wanna do is remove everything from your PC, pop figures, and disconnect all your peripherals, including USB, keyboard, mic, ethernet cable, anything connected to your PC, go ahead and disconnect. Last but not least, you're gonna to wanna to switch off your PSU and then unplug the cable. And a cool tip is to press your power button a couple times or hold it down and let the PC cycle any current or any power left in the PSU out of the system. Great. Now, once that's done, we could lay our PC down, take off the window, and we could get into our PC. All right, hopefully this is a good angle. Hopefully you guys can see, but I'm just gonna take off the cover real quick. And put this aside. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is, I forgot, you're gonna need a screwdriver and you're gonna wanna remove your fan or liquid cooler or whatever cooling device you have that's covering your PC. For me, I have an NZXT X53 Kraken and I will have to unscrew that and do that to expose my CPU. Be sure you unplug the power to the liquid cooler and uh, any fans connecting to it as well. And we'll just set that aside. And go ahead and just uh, put your liquid cooler to the side. And hopefully you guys can see this well, but as you can see, there's gonna be a lot of thermal paste on my CPU. We're gonna wanna remove that before we take it out. So that's where the isopropyl alcohol and the Q-tips come in. So just get a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol on your Q-tip, grab a paper towel, and just kind of start rubbing the thermal paste off. As you can see, it comes off easily. And once you did that, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing on your liquid cooler as well. Okay, so once you have the thermal paste off your old CPU, we're ready to take out the old one. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the case ready for it. Because you will be able to either hold on to it, save it for another build or sell it. In my case, I will be selling it. So I wanna be able to sell it in the best condition possible. So the new buyer gets their money's worth essentially. So I kept all the packaging. We're gonna throw it back in the case. So for me, I have a X570 Wi-Fi Plus motherboard by Asus Tough. 
we're gonna go ahead and just push down on the latch pull it over to the side and then it will unlock my CPU and now just pull it straight up there you have it all the pins everything it's nice and the front of it is looking nice and clean we're just gonna throw this back into the case here all right next what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our new CPU into the motherboard so again be careful i don't know if you've noticed but i've been touching the side of my case if you don't have a static electricity shock protector um, ensuring that you touch your metal pc case um, and be sure you're grounded is essentially what you want to be aware of any static could damage computer components so i, I occasionally will be touching the side of my case in order to protect everything in my computer. Okay, so one thing with Ryzen CPUs that you have to be aware of is, let me see if I can focus it for you. But on Ryzen CPUs, you're gonna see, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but you will see a little gold corner right there. What you need to do is match the arrow in your motherboard in the same orientation and direction to ensure that it's seated correctly. So my gold corner is right here and then I'll try to zoom in and get like an insert shot of this but I do have like a little corner arrow um, in there as well. So you're gonna wanna match those up. I'm just gonna make sure that's what we're looking for here, and I believe it is. Go ahead, drop CPU in gently. And if it doesn't fall into place, all you gotta do is make sure that it's going in straight in, just like so. You can give it a couple taps, wiggles. Don't ever try to force it into the socket. It will fall in place. Once it's in place, go ahead and lower the latch lever. Be sure it's locked in and you just installed your new CPU into your PC. The next step here now is applying our thermal paste right here. I've uh, chosen the, I, I think it's pronounced Cryonaut, Cryonaut high, ultra high performance thermal grease thermal grizzly i got this on amazon it was like eight bucks for like one um application so we're gonna go ahead and put some thermal paste on our cpu we'll go ahead and just apply a little dab of this right here and i guess we'll try spreading it and see see how that works And I will spread it with this spatula just for shits and gigs, see, see how it does. Oh, I personally don't like doing this. All right, I think I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna go too crazy with this. Next, we're just gonna go ahead and reapply our liquid cooler. Personally, I had mine in a downward facing orientation. So we will go ahead and match that. Be sure you're lined up correctly here when getting this all inserted. The last step will be to replug the power any cables, fans going into your motherboard. Remember rule of thumb with tightening screws, always go diagonal or in an X shape orientation, never 
tighten one fully and then move on to the next one. You want to hand tighten all of them first and then move on. So I'm not entirely sure when my camera stopped recording, but we got the thermal paste on. We put on our cooler and we just tightened the screws back on. Everything is nice and tight. And we're just gonna replug our fan back into our motherboard, give the AIO cooler some power and close her up and see if she turns on. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure you leave a thumbs up. Be sure you hit the subscribe button, do all that YouTube stuff, and hopefully it helped out. If it did, be sure you share with a friend, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.